The investigation deepens. There are now two scenes, one at McKinley Marina, the other at a home. Police tell us this was no random act. Michelle Fiore joins us live from 10th and National, where family members are sharing new details on what happened. Michelle. Yeah, Julia, we now know more about what led up to a shooting in this home at 10th and National that took two lives, a mother and her 12-year-old son. Family tell us the day started like many others. The man who owns National Hall made breakfast in their home that's attached to it. Then he gave his adult daughter $1,500 to get an apartment and went out for a bit. Milwaukee police say he returned to find his son and his wife dead in the basement. He's numb. He's numb. There's no emotion at all. I mean, I can't imagine. He's lost his wife, his son, and, and then by his own daughter. Investigators believe the man's adult daughter shot her stepmother and 12-year-old stepbrother. Family has identified them as Hermelinda Sierra de Arvelo and Otoro Arvelo. Family says Hermelinda came to the U.S. from Mexico looking to make a better life for herself. She was a really nice woman, very friendly, welcoming, a loving person, and she loved Miguel, and he loved her, and he loved his son, and he was an active father. Police say the shooter took her own life. Her body was found today near McKinley Marina. It's a sad day for a family in the business of bringing joy to others. National Hall is rented out for parties. They made a really good business out of it, and this is a tragedy for the neighborhood because um, it's always a tragedy when we lose good people to senseless violence. A family tell us that the woman accused in this crime had a history of mental illness. Live on Milwaukee's South Side, Michelle Fiore, today's TMJ4.